Well, hey y'all, it's me, Jerry. Well, welcome back to another um, Tuesday talk with me as I ramble on about whatever is on my mind today. So today, we've got three little topics. Um, one, I'm gonna chat with you uh, about a little personal topic <laughs> that I struggle with in the fall and winter time. Um, the second, I'm gonna chat with you about what I was binge watching this weekend to try and get myself away from continuing to loop binge watch Outlander. <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna let you know what was on the menu for this week. So let's get going. All right, so something i want to be honest about and i'm not ashamed in any way um but i am a person that tends to just not do so well um I'm maybe a seasonal person i, I don't like labels <laughs> so i'm not gonna go into labels and stuff like that but i just i don't do so well in the winter when it gets dark and overcast and gray that's a big reason why i moved to arizona in my uh, early 20s is because i came out here for spring break and it was like rainy and cold and dark and ugh, gross in arkansas but it was beautiful and sunny and just felt so good out here um now my birthday is coming up this weekend and the not so great thing about that is that my birthday usually signals that kind of seasonal shift for me where my my days start to seem darker and it's harder for me to stay focused i really can get into negative thought processes and to be honest that's kind of like where my channel kind of started to taper down last year is because once it got a grip on me last year in November I, I just didn't do a good job of getting out of it for a couple of months but this year I went to battle um, a couple of weeks ago in getting myself prepared to deal with this change that I know inevitably is coming and so I wanted to kind of chat with you today about some of the things that I'm using to keep me kind of lifted up as I go through this transition and I don't want in any way to take away from anyone that has a diagnosis um, anyone um, that has the constraints of um, mental disorders um, I'm not trying to lighten anything to do with that but if you're like me and this time of the year you get a little bluesy you get a little affected by the changes in weather maybe these are some things that could help you out so I read and I wish I would have taken note of it but uh, it may have just even been like in a feed or something that I was scrolling through but somebody made the comment that if you you know took a ton of b12 you would just always feel great and um, just don't take it too close to bedtime and I don't know how true that is but I know um, a while ago when I was seeing a naturopath um, she did load me up with a lot of different B12 and B products um, the other bottle I've already finished out this is like a lozenge um, so I take that some but what I've really gotten to love a lot are these rescue plus um, kind of lozenges they're sugar free and um, they've got b5 and b12 in them and so i usually have one in the morning and one a little bit after lunchtime. Um, on the days that i'm feeling a uh, extra kind of need for some help i like the st john's wort tincture i got turned on to this a couple of years ago well actually about 10 years ago i knew a guy who wild crafted that meant he went out and picked um, wild St. John's wort and had made me a tincture and it really was very very helpful to me. I don't try to take this every single day right now um, just because I don't want to develop an immunity to it um, so I usually try to get a good strong dose of it on Saturdays and um, otherwise my B12 and my B5 and my B6 have been keeping my moods elevated. Um, I also picked up this stress relief. Um, it's a, another homeopathic product and it says it's for occasional anxiety, restlessness, and impatience. And I'll, I'll be honest and tell you that I, I've had a lot of great relief from this, B, um, this B5 and B12 lozenge. Um, St. John's Wort has has always been a good friend to me um, but I'm really really loving um, the the effects that I get from the added B12 and B5 and B6 that I've got in my diet right now so I just wanted to be 
kind of open and frank and share with you um, something that might help you. I don't know obviously where you're at in your life, but I, I, I've done a lot of work in my life personally um, with therapy and other things and you know when it all breaks down to it after you know 40 something years I, I pretty much have it down to what's going on with me and um, these are the things that help me so if you need some help maybe check those out I get all of these at my local Sprouts I'm sure you can find them on the internet um, or at a Whole Foods or if you've got like a co-op in your town that's got like a natural food store or something like that maybe check those out there now on to what's been keeping me distracted from my obsession with Outlander mind you I did read one of the only books in her book series about Lord John Gray that I hadn't read I read the entire thing last Friday and so I'm pretty sure there's not a single book by her that I haven't read yet and I'm just on pins and needles waiting for her next book to come out. But in the meantime, I did want to kind of just touch base with you on what we watched this weekend. Um, one thing that we enjoyed was um, called Modern Love and it's kind of little short stories that have nothing to do with each other um, about different people at different points in their life and it was... Whew, I could almost cry now how some of those stories were so <laughs> gut-wrenching um, but it was really good really nicely written really um, identifiable um, so if you need something kind of like that in your world check that out now then the one thing that we watched this weekend that I really just thought was phenomenal was a series called unbelievable and it's kind of like a a mystery um they're trying to solve a crime um it's a it's a it's a bad crime you know it's a it's a crime against women um but it's phenomenal investigation work and i i'm not usually a person that can watch things that have you know violence and bad stuff and bad imagery in it and, and this really doesn't go too far that way and I'm grateful for that but the storylines and the way that it all came together in the end was just remarkable to me and so um, definitely I would encourage you to check that out if you like that type of show um, now the other thing that we watched and this is uh, rude crude and and just totally unacceptable and it's called I'm sorry it's about a comedian and her life and she is just she's first-class vulgarity so I don't know if that will be for everybody and it kind of has lulls where there's parts of it that are super hilarious and there are other parts of it that you're just like you know scratching your head over what's going on with that situation um, but it's been something kind of light-hearted for us to kind of float through they're only 24 minutes long but I'm telling you the language a lot of the topics are very very over the top like a comedian think um, so be careful with that it's it's definitely not safe for children not I don't think any of these really or something you should be watching around your kids but it's kind of what's keeping me distracted right now there's only two seasons of that out and we probably have one or two more episodes of it so I'm probably gonna be back to Outlander this week to be honest um, all right now on to what's on the menu this week so on Sunday we had tuna melts with macaroni and cheese homemade macaroni and cheese of course and what we do with the tuna melts is you know we make up our kind of tuna salad however you make it and we usually look um, in the clearance section at fries and pick up like a couple of loaves of inexpensive artisan bread um, this week I saw um, a nice loaf of French bread at uh, sprouts for a dollar fifty so I grabbed that and so we just um, put our tuna on there we sprinkle some cheese on top we slide it in the oven to broil for a couple of minutes and then we make our homemade mac and cheese which is kind of like a roux that we do um, to get us a good cheesy base and then you know toss that in with some elbow macaroni now yesterday as we are going forward into our soup season we got to have one of our household favorites and that's a chunky creamy potato soup and the best thing about it is that it asks for about a pound of bacon and i watch the cells at sprouts and i wait for their hickory smoked thick cut homemade home style bacon to go on sale for like um 2.99 a pound 
and that's when I pick up my bacon and I freeze it and save it for just such an occasion. So we just enjoyed the heck out of that last night and it's a wonderful, wonderful soup if you're looking for an awesome potato soup. Um, tonight's Taco Tuesday, so we're gonna have just some a plain old uh, soft tacos. And tomorrow night, we're gonna have spaghetti and garlic bread. And I'll be honest with you, I'm, it's easy for me to get like the, the jars of the organic spaghetti sauce at Costco. But I decided this week that I'm actually going to teach the kids how we made spaghetti when I was growing up. And that's, it's nothing complex. It's a lot of garlic, um, you know, some tomato sauce and some tomato paste. Added that into your um, meat to give yourself a good, rich spaghetti sauce. And then Thursday, we're making homemade sloppy joes and potato wedges. And the homemade sloppy joes is a recipe that I got from one of my friends on Instagram. We follow kind of a hashtag called wannabe recipes. And so every week we post and share recipes and I love to save them so that when I'm making my menu, I can go back and um, find stuff to cook. And so if you like recipes and you're on Instagram, definitely check out that hashtag wannabe recipes. And then on Friday, as you will imagine, we're having chili cheese dogs, but it is my birthday this weekend. So I don't know if I personally will be having chili cheese dogs this weekend. I am hoping to have quite the fun staycation here in the Valley. <laughs> I've got some places I want to go and we've got um, some gift cards that we've been keeping on stack for some cool um, little restaurants for us to check out. So I hope that you're having an awesome week and thanks so much for checking in with me today on uh, kind of a talk to you Tuesday and for letting me ramble on with you and if you've ever got any questions about me or things that you want to know I think I'm going to do uh, random things about me here soon but if you've got some questions that you you, you don't know if, if you want to know something about me um, don't hesitate to um, ask me down in the comments anytime and otherwise I hope you have the best day ever and thanks for stopping in